Temperatures are on the rise, as we know, this week. Yes, they are. But uh, there are some ways to beat the heat while saving on your energy bills. KTTC's Matt Rainier joins us with some money-saving tips. Even though fall is just around the corner, temperatures are still soaring. And with them comes a greater need for electricity and cooling across the state. But this time of year, we always see more electricity being used than you know, at the beginning of the summer. It's just kind of those dog days of summer where you get some of those hot days and people have gotten accustomed to it and they're like, you know, I've had enough. I'm ready to turn the AC on now. Because some people will talk to and they'll say, I haven't turned the AC on the whole summer. With temperatures on the rise, people across the state are going to be looking to beat the heat. But there are a number of measures that citizens can take in order to stay cool and conserve energy. You know, if you set it at 78 degrees, 75 degrees, even if uh, you go somewhere in there, you're still gonna take that humidity out of the air in your house and you're gonna be saving money because you're not using as much electricity. Turn your ceiling fans on. Uh, let those move the air around in your home as well. That's gonna make it more comfortable. Uh, using screens or shades on your windows uh, when that hot sun is uh, on your windows, close those screens and let those, uh, the, the hot rays stay outside and not get into your home. Despite the increase in electricity usage, Rochester Public Utilities is confident that this will not lead to any potential power outages or grid failures, as the city has grown more accustomed to the rise in temperatures in the last few years. In Ro if you're interested in learning more about ways to conserve energy with the rise in temperatures, you can do so by checking out our website at kgtc.com.